Howdy folks, this is Mr. Ramsey B and Rivener. We got Rivener here today. We're going to be doing something a little bit special. Now, due to problems with my computer, I am unable to do emulator recordings uh, for the foreseeable future. So, what we're going to do is thanks to my new program called DX Story, we're able to, um, for the most part, record some PC games. So today what we're going to be doing, and uh, this is going to be a full series here because we're absolutely loving how Mystery Science Theater 3000-esque we can make this game because we were just having fun with it. We're going to play uh, KOTOR, the first one. So welcome to KOTOR 1 with Mr. Ramsey B and Rivener. So what do we want to do here? Well, how much of the storyline do you know? Well, I know enough. But I, I know we definitely want to do a male character because the interactions between the, the main characters are, are flipping hilarious if it's a male. They're not so funny if it's a chick. That just gets kind of tedious. That just gets kind of weird. Um, now, personally, because pretty much we know this guy's going to end up being a Jedi or, or, or a Sith Lord... So personally, I like the idea of making a soldier, because it's more focused on melee and you know strength and all that stuff. Uh, so what do you think? What do you think? Soldier sounds good. Soldier sounds good. All right. Give him a light bat. Yes. So we are going to take him out of Harlem, <laughs> and not that there's anything wrong with Harlem, because there isn't. And, wow, this dude looks like Jack from the Tekken series, doesn't he? How old am I again? You've never played Tekken. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> okay, this is the one I use for my personal game. Uh, so, oh, let's, oh, this guy looks kind of derpy. So, we'll go uh, with the attributes. 16 there. Charisma increases your... It helps if you try to persuade people, which is okay. Um, it makes your... Let's say you're a Jedi and you use, like, Force Lightning, it makes it cost less. There's also That's no good. point in having odd um, point sets because they don't give you the next bonus up. Gotcha. They just leave you in the middle and they suck. Okay, so Constitution... Gives you more health, right? Yeah. Which is pretty much essential to being the melee. There we go, 16, 16, 16. And 8 and 8. Cause um, you have to have decrease your, your charisma to 14 and put the extra 2 points in wisdom just so you don't suffer a negative one. And because wisdom is for your. Um, oh! Oh, that's snazzy. Um, that because charisma, it, it takes up 2 points. After 14. And wisdom. Is not so. There we go. And wisdom affects <coughs> how me. effective your force powers are. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so here we definitely want. We only get four points. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. If you'd put poo ton of points into intelligence, you would have more points. But. Yeah. So we're. I want this guy to be. Oh, okay, so that takes two. Cross class. Yeah. Okay. We'll go persuade. Persuade, because I want this guy to be able to fling the Jedi mind trick like it's going out of style. Feats! He has two of them. Armor proficiency, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay. so this is a big deciding point. Is this character... Um, is this character going to be a one-handed, straight-up Jedi, or are they going to use two lightsabers and beat the snot out of everything? Oh, I like the idea of doing the two lightsabers. Personally, it's the like the actions that go with it are just really cool. Anyway, yeah, they so. look really cool. Plus, the fact that you actually get a a double bladed lightsaber very early in the game, which I found. Uh, so, do, do we, we want to do the two weapon fighting or the, or the well? We can do dueling later. We can grab that dueling later. Mm -hmm. Well, for if, now, we do, for if now, we're doing a two handed. Dueling's not going to do anything, because that's only for one-handed. Right. So there's, there's no point in... Yeah, there's not even a point in even looking at that. Okay. So, name. We're not naming him Milo. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. This is always the hard part for me. Dot, dot, dot. Um, let's... Oh, I got an idea. Ugh. Let's... Think of doing, like, a tribute to another LP -er, but I don't know that this person even likes Star Wars, so... Uh-oh. Um, what are we gonna name this guy? Holy crap! Hugo McDerby. Hugo McDerby. <laughs> Hugo Mc. Derby with a Y or an I E. Why? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting a text message. Oops. We must mute the phone, I forgot to do that. Ah! Okay. Yes, gas is apparently about to go up in price. So <laughs> I'm gonna get gas for the car later. Hugo McDerp or Humo Hugo McDerpy? Derpy. McDerpy, okay, do you want it with the Y or an IE? It's like asking me if I want fries with that, let's go with the Y. Derpy with the Y, yes! Alrighty. Now let's play. Now I'm gonna do the tutorial area, and uh, Rivener will do the part after, and then we're just gonna alternate, you know, a little section by section by section. But right now, uh, also the uh, screen recorder is not recording the the movies, so forgive me if stuff is slightly out of sync, because I'm gonna try and add the movies in in post editing. So we got the basic Star Wars opening. It shouldn't be too hard because the DX story stops recording mm -hmm. when the video starts. Yep. We'll just have the audio track that will play through it all. That so. is correct. Um, oh, 4,000 years before the Rise of Galactic Empire. So Yoda isn't even a thought in his great-grandparents' friggin' dingleberries. Because <laughs> I don't think Yoda wears pants. I don't think those, uh, what, what, okay, I know they're from Dagobah, but I don't know what you would call someone from Dagobagian. I don't know. He lives in a bog. Oh, he lives, yeah, he does live in a bog. Um, blah, 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 text, 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 and words, words, Outer Rim, words, Darth Malak, Sith Galactic Domination. <laughs> Alrighty. And we have to wait for all of the words to, to enter warp speed. I mean, hyperspace. Wow, I'm mixing genres! <laughs> oh, no. Do, 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 do. And, oh, it's a, it's a pretty planet. Boom! And here comes an assault cruiser that is getting bloated it up. Bloated it? Bloated it up. It has gas. And I love how it's pretty much spinning down into the atmosphere, yet you have as much time as you want to have in the tutorial zone. Yes. It's it's excellent, excellent there. So, and, and also I think is very funny, is that we're actually start the game, you start the game, and you're sleeping. You're sleeping. How do you... There's no way... There is no way. Look at our guy. He's like, it's freaking Hugo. Hugo's like, duh, what's going on? <laughs> oh, and here comes, you know, Captain Tutorial. We've been ambushed by a Sith This guy's battle. pretty much the, the red shirt of the game. Under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Um, uh, who are you? Who gives a crap? I'm Trask. Trask Logo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you have to sleep in the bed next to you. How do you not know? How, exactly. How do you how have you never seen him alive. before if he sleeps? Look at it, look at outside. That would just make me dizzy. <laughs> it's like, whoa, spinning, spinning, spinning. Who's Hello, special? I'll... Forget it, I'm looking after my own skin. Do we want to make this guy good or bad? We can just ride him right down the gray metal line until we get to the end. We can? Okay. Well, that's that's what I did with with my first character. I just made him smack in the middle until I got to the end. Because there is no middle ending. You either have to save the Republic or you have to kill him. I, I don't know, though. Uh, 
I think I think making him good would be better because then there's more hilarity between him and uh, and you know who. M- make him a little. You can play him as a good character so you can get closer and just be as absolutely naughty as you can possibly be. Bastel is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our blah, 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 to blah. Words, her words, survival words, in the event when I've heard all about your word. The whole time you're standing there watching the space fly by the screen, you never see the planet that should eventually you know, float by. I, I did just notice that. Because we are spinning, you know, doing a, bar- doing a barrel roll. Okay, let's go help the chick. So hurry up and... Uh, don't need to know... Oh, look at... Okay, now this is actually something that Rivener didn't notice. We can actually grab the dude's ass. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's equip him with some clothing so he's not naked. Give him a sword. And we have nothing else. I gave him clothing, not a freaking backpack. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's move out. We Where's should... Dora? I don't because care. Over there, open the door. Derps McDerp a lot. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Immediately, because he's going to make you use security to open the next door. Well, yeah, I know that. This is Cartel Nasty. Oh no, we're the nose diving into, into the planet. Our it looks we can't like. hold out oh, long against the... their firepower. All hands that was the Captain Douche Nozzle. That was Karth contacting us on our portable oh communicator. Oh my gosh! He's one of the Republic's best yeah. pilots. Don't, He's don't stand in front of him when he man. talks! Cause you will get wet. Okay, Droid's gonna die. I don't care. Open the door! <laughs> Tutorial man! And they just stand there and watch it. You know, the Sith are supposed to be like this ultimate army, and they can't hit crap worth nothing. These Sith must be the advanced board for the Republic. The hallway. Yes, we just like use, I don't know, some kind of like cracked out stuff. And get you, you have many teleporter rooms. Oh, there are no teleporters because I would be Star Trek. I, I don't care about a med pack. Get in there, you derp! Darpe! Clank! Oh, one shot kill, nice! Get out of the way, tutorial redshirt guy! Long sword! Alright, so now that we have the long sword, we're going to take. The short sword is balanced from that. Long sword there, short sword is balanced. It is balanced, yay! I actually didn't even notice that in my first playthrough. I didn't think of it until now. So these guys, they're gonna they're fighting. Did you just hear an echo? When a guy died? I'm not sure if that came Yeah, he kills his own dude. That's hilarious. That's what the Sith are for. That's what Sith are for. No singing! This is a let's play, not a let's sing. Yeah. Screw the um, grenades. I'll just slice them up and keep the grenades for later. Oh shoot, I'm almost dead. <laughs> That's a pretty cool move. Let's... I'm looking outside. See the planet, we're apparently doing a, a nosedive into the planet. Remains! I gotta tell you, I, I, I was so excited uh, at, the, at the beginning of this, uh, of this when, I, when I went through it the first time. So unbelievably excited when I came up uh, this way, because 
Dark Jedi. It's Dark Jedi. Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stop. Well, I knew at least oh, one of them was, was gonna away. die while we're just standing there, being like. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, she beats him and then gets blown up. There should be two lightsabers right that there. One of the Jedi right there. And Damn, you don't get no lightsabers. Help. Because only Jedi can use lightsabers. Doesn't matter, you should still be able to pick it up. I mean... You get to pick up the lightsaber off of the dude later. But you do get... A vibration cell. And I just think, okay, I think it's absolutely flippin' hilarious that you get a bright vibration cell and an adrenal strength off of a female Jedi. Jedi are not allowed such attachments. <laughs> the Jedi do not, are not allowed to splooge. Alright. So I think a bomb is about to go off the bridge. There it goes. And I don't even know how we how I got experience because a bomb went off up there. Bastel was not here on the bridge. They must have retreated. Sith want Bastel. Oh wait, did he throw a grenade up there? Possibly. Which would be why. Okay, so. Okay, so we actually can't add persu persuade any bit. Um, sure. Trade injury. Computer? No, forget trade injury. We're Requires gonna get... two points. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Demolitions. Everything Warriors. that you could think that you might want to add, security is worth it. You can open lockers. Oh, son of a puppy dog. Awareness. We can find stuff. I am more aware of my surroundings. And what do we have here? Let's quickly Go ahead strike. and... Um, add, no, scroll down farther. What? You can add bonuses to your melee attacks. Where? Right there. Where? Scroll down a little bit farther. Right there, under the blaster. Ooh, there yes, you go. yes. Plus one attack. Yes! Alright. Make you hit harder. Like, bigger freight train. Or maybe like that Amtrak train that that, that hit the that hit the, um, the the truck that was stalled on the on the freaking tracks a couple weeks ago. At least there was no in it. Yeah, so we're literally like nose diving into the planet, and it's and not getting any closer either. That's right. That's right. We're just like kind of like woo. We're flying high. Love it, I'm not even touching controls, I just have to click on the door. Oh no, look, another Dark Jedi. How does something he know there's something here. behind there? Damn, another Dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off! You and to thus the fate cause. of Go. the red shirt. We door closes, <laughs> the door explodes. Because we're Bioware and we can and think of a better reason to yep, kill him. And we're gonna go help him. But it says Trask has bought you the time you need to escape. You must make your way. Blah 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 blah. The time you need to escape, except you can stand there for five minutes and he will not follow you. Oh, pretty much. Well, you know that actually should say that that Trask is just that much freaking more epic because um. This is Carlo on your Oh, shut up, Captain Deuce Dush Nozzle. <laughs> uh, because he's like in there holding his own uh, against Dark Jedi. And all he has is a sword. And he's holding off a dude with a freaking lightsaber. Yes. You get remains? Well, I don't know if you're aware of this, but thanks to people like Karen Travis being total Boba Fett fanboys, she was an amazing Who? author. Karen Travis. Who's that? She was one of the authors of the newest, uh, the new Jedi era. Which is like 60 years after, um, after the Avenger. Basically, Luke's old, married, has a kid. Um, Han and Leia have three kids that are like 18 now. Oh, is that the one with those scarred up guys? Stuff with the, with the guys that like do all the scar, that have all the scars all over them, and that's their, 
their badges of honor and rank. The one dude attaches a lobster claw. Oh, you're talking about the Vong, and that was just before that. Um, That's the Vong. Anyway, the... Well, that's not 60 years after Yemen. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That's like... That's also 20 the... 20 years. That's cause... also the era where Chewie dies. Yeah, but that's not 60 years past Yemen, because... The new Jedi uh, Order is. No, it's not. No, it's not. The use on Vaughn. No, listen, and... listen. Grr. Listen. Because uh, Jason and Jaina are only, like, 19, 20 years old at that point in time. Right. They were born three years after uh, Endor. So there's no way it's 60 years later, because they're still kids. Okay, do we have enough stuff to repair the droid? Droid repair tutorial. Ah, uh, don't want to do it, don't care. Anyway, the, yeah, the point that I was oh, trying damn. to make was that, um, at that point, no, the Mandalorians have this special, they have a metal that's only found on their, on, in their worlds, uh -huh. called Beskar, which is what they make their armor out of, and it is resistant. It is not lightsaber proof, but it is resistant, and there are also, the swords that you're using are made out of cortosis, which is lightsaber proof. It is a weave of... Oh, there ain't nothing that's, light, that's lightsaber proof. It's a beam, it's an energy beam that cuts through anything. There's no such thing as lightsaber proof. Go check the Star Wars wiki. I don't want to. Star Wars wiki is made it just in time. written by like little kids. It's Captain Deuce Nuzzle. Come on, Captain Deuce Nuzzle. How do I know I can trust you? I don't care. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we're gonna hop in the escape pod here. Yeah, there we go. I had to squish his ass. He, 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 just, he didn't want to get in there until I squished him. Until I gave him a squish. Step away from the escape pod. No, we gotta go in. You gotta cram yourself in there with yep. Karth. With Captain, with Captain Douche, Douche Nozzle. The whole way So, down. pretty much, we're, we're getting into the escape pod. And we're waiting. And what? Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. That Hold on. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> it died. Yeah. Hmm. Oopsie. Okay, so we're in the escape pod, and we fire ourselves down to the planet. The Ender Spire, kaboom! I love how there's no other warship in sight. You know? I definitely will say, and you know, you mentioned this when we were, you know, just screwing around with this game uh, last week. Um, this game, why is it not recording? There we go. Okay, now that it's recording. This game just does look absolutely phenomenal for being from, like, what, when is it from? Um, it's, it was designed for Windows 95. Yeah, designed for Windows 95, but what year did this game come out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. Google. As, well, I'm not going to Google it. But, yeah, I mean, it just, for, I, I know it was in, in the uh, mid to late 90s, and the game just looks absolutely phenomenal for being this old. Good to see you up instead of thrashing out your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the I'm Republic Karth. soldiers from the Endar. I changed Spire. your clothing I was while you were sleeping. Do you remember? Very impressive. <laughs> 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 right, I'm Hugo McDerby. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have too much fun with this LP. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least All right. we're in an oh abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. Ew, kinky. Really bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously blah, 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 I was able blah, to drag blah. you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into Dragged me away apartment. by my junk. By the time the Sith arrived in the scene, we by the time the Sith arrived, I was deep throating you. Wait, what? <laughs> That's uh, why, seriously, that's why this dude were... is like the most anti-chick ever. He's very pretty, but he's too pretty to like be into chicks. That's why you weren't arrested. They were too disgusted. They just turned around and walked away. Well, yeah, but that's what happens. The Sith, the Sith walk up on Karth as he's pulling pulling us out of the escape pod. He turns around. He's got coconuts on his man boobs <laughs> and a sock. <laughs> 
And he's wearing he's wearing coconut halves and a sock. And the Sith are just like, screw that, I'm going home, adios. And that was the end of it. And that and you know so really, really, we we actually I think we kind of owe Karth you know a, a debt of dad, a, a debt of gratitude because of his transvestite ways. Uh, I really wish it was a point that, or, or an ability to put a dress on him, because I would love to just play the 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 rest of the game with Karth wearing a dress, because that'd be absolutely hilarious. So pretty much, if uh, if anybody has uh, the ability to do this, please uh, send me an email like a, at uh, mrramseyb at gmail dot com and. Um, Give us a picture of, of, of like, Karth Photoshop with a dress. Please, 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 for the love of God, please do it. That would be absolutely hilarious. Um, but that's the tutorial area, and this is where I think we're going to cut it off. And next time we're going to have Rivener uh, behind the controls, and I'll be sitting on the side doing uh, absolute hilarity and, and, and all sorts of... of you know, making fun of this thing. So, thank you very much for watching. This has uh, been Mr. Ramsey B. Rivener. And thank you for watching Let's MST3K KOTOR. <laughs>